Have you always wanted to be too cool for school? Well, ladies and gentlemen, now's your chance. You can get yourself a pair of these spiffy sunglasses and you'll be the coolest man or woman in Monster Hunter or cat. That'd be cool if we could put it on the cat. I don't think we can though. That would be amazing. The coolest palico in the world. But anyways, today we got a new event quest with obviously a new event armor piece. These glorious spectacles. Now you might be asking yourself, how do I get these glorious spectacles? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you go over here to the quest board. You go to post a new quest and we've got this new event called a flash in the pan. Now this is a six star quest and you need to be hunter rank 11 or higher. You get three times to faint and you can bring all the items you desire. Now a flash in the pan, you have to fight three Zitsuyakus. Terrible, right? It's not so bad. Let's go ahead and get into this and we'll show you a couple tricks that you can do. So once you actually get into the quest, you'll see that there are three Zitsuyaku here, and you can actually fight them all individually as you go. They will aggro you separately. So if you actually kite them away from each other, then you can actually fight them one by one, or you can try and fight them all at once, which is a nightmare. I highly recommend not doing that. As you can see, I accidentally just aggroed the one back there, I think. And it's probably gonna come. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. All right, but yeah, it's a relatively simple quest especially if you keep it to only fighting one at a time. So I highly recommend trying to do that. I did do it while fighting both, at uh, the two at the end, and it was a little bit of a nightmare just because they pretty much go on opposite ends of you and just flash you until... Well, I didn't die or anything, but it is really annoying. There we go, one down. And you can see that there is actually a lever there. And what that lever does is actually separates the arena. So just keep that in mind that you can do that. I'm too busy talking and looking around and actually fighting, but it is a relatively easy quest. These are low rank Zitsis, and you have to be Hunter rank 11 to fight them, uh, which really is not too bad at all. Can you stop being a squirrely little annoying thing from hell? Now you can also use a stone to actually lure one over without aggroing the other one. So just keep that in mind. The stones can come in very handy if you only want to fight one at a time. Two down, one to go. Very, very easy. Now, just keep in mind that you can bring your own items to this particular quest. It's not like one of the actual arenas up in the gathering hub. So just make sure to eat before you go in and you can bring some traps and it's going to make it stupid easy. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and shock trap this one and see if we can murder it stupid quick. Helps if we hit it in the head, but whatever. All right, very, very easy. All right, so as rewards for this quest, you'll see that we get a black crystal ticket, a ticket you can trade for a crystal that emits a darkness sucking light, not obtainable by normal means. So that's pretty cool. We also got some flash pods and obviously some other stuff. But now every time we get one of these commendations, we always lock on unlock a new armor piece at the armory. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, now that we are at the armory, let's go ahead and see what the new headpiece that we have is. And these are the Shadow Shades. So this is a Rarity 5 Defense 46 helmet, which is pretty much the same as the Wiggler head that we got before. But it has stun resistance on here, level 1. And then we've also got three gem slots. Let's see what this looks like. So that is actually a really good headset. A lot of the things that can kill you is stun. And having some stun resistance on a nice helmet like this with three gem slots is pretty freaking amazing. I'd, I'd say it's even better than the Wiggler head. Oh my goodness. I don't know. The Wiggler head's amazing. Uh, let's see here. Can we change any colors on here? Uh, looks like we've got... I think we could probably shade... Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we can actually change the shade of the glasses. So that's pretty nice. Uh, can we zoom in? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Freaking pimping now. I don't know. These things are absolutely amazing. I'm going to go ahead and go with, uh, well, I don't know, something a little bit cooler. Some blue, maybe. And we'll go with red since the rest of our stuff is red. But yeah, I don't know. This is really cool. And especially that they're giving us a new piece of equipment pretty much every week now is absolutely amazing. Last week, we got the Wiggler Head. And then this week, we got the Shadow Shades. And this is really cool because... It kind of gives you bragging rights, like, you know, I've been playing Monster Hunter since the beginning. I've got all this awesome stuff if you do all the events. 
and it's just just a little it's a really cool addition like no other company right now is providing this type of content just free updates every single week capcom is doing such an amazing job with monster hunter world i absolutely love this game now um you are going to have to get three of those commendation or those uh those tickets to actually be able to forge the glasses but i hope you guys all enjoyed the episode if you did don't forget to share support and smash that like button and if you found it useful do the same but anyways, let me know in the comments below what you think of this week's new headpiece. Um, were you expecting maybe a different uh, piece of armor this week, maybe like a chest? I wonder if it's going to be a new headpiece each week or if we're going to actually get some other armor pieces down the road. I imagine eventually we'll get some like legs, body and, you know, stuff like that in the future. But it is pr pretty cool that they are just giving us, you know, free content every week. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.